What's up, guys? Uh, so, you all haven't seen the Camaro in a long time, and it's white. Uh, I'm in the middle of building the cow hood, or cow hood. This plate is just there for structure. I'm going to end up cutting it back out. I might just make this a smooth area. Uh, but I had to do it because... The air cleaner would barely hit this and I cut the where is it I have the skin somewhere I don't know where it is at the moment uh, really shocking that's a big piece of metal just disappeared I am blinder than a bat uh, oh right there that skin was up underneath here as you can see the marks I mean, it was glued so and you can see where she's getting hot. But this hood will stay black. But you'll see something really nice. She's tucked in here. I have a bag over it for when I'm welding. I might put a cardboard bat or cardboard over this too. Because this is a lot of money I have in this. So here's a nice motor. And yeah, I have to clear the air cleaner this isn't fully put in uh, the transmission on this I bought a used transmission a couple years ago I think now and it was a is a turbo 350 I'm putting in this and it was a demolition derby uh, just pulled it apart yesterday Come to find out, it was grenaded inside. So, I am buying another core to get the internals out of. I have all, like, I have a lot of the stuff because I bought a rebuild kit. And, but, no, whenever we pulled it apart, it, planetary was all messed up. It was grenaded. Uh. It literally self-destructed inside of it. Case is fine. Internals just gone. There was no, there's no hope on saving anything almost in it. Uh, gears were gone and everything. Like, it was terrible. Uh, but no, I have been fabbing this up. I was working on this all last night. I got new hood struts put in, so it actually holds up. Uh. Don't make fun of my welding. I am not a welder, and I will 100% tell you that. Do I want to get better at welding? Yes. Uh, I smoothed over my welds. I mean, it's not hard to see that I smoothed over all that. But, and you can see where I used the grinder right against this and was just slightly rubbing. Uh, I was going to buy a hood, but I'm like, you know what? I really don't want to buy a hood that's $300 when I have this perfectly good hood that I can just cut up for free. I mean, it just takes a little bit of welding, and you're good. Uh, but, no, this is going to be the hood. I thought about putting vents in it. Then I'm like, no, this comes out. I'm going to put a structure here. And go all along the side. But I'm not going to do a time lapse on any of that because that's just a long time. And I don't think you all want to see me really go through it because it's just going to be hour, like hours upon hours. Just me just tinkering with this hood. Getting it all good and everything. So I'm just going to, you know, show you the glimpses of this. And then once I get closer to what I want done, then I'll show you all again. But this hood is not perfect by any means. Over there has a huge dent, and it is terrible. Uh, there's dings all in this for me prying getting that skin off because they glued it. As you can see, all the glue marks are just different colored. And all that glue is still on this hood. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is get this outer piece built and then build the structure on the inside. I might not do vents. I don't know. I'm probably just going to do maybe a big cross or maybe here and then here like it's just to have a little more support because it's not that strong and plus that's what it was supported by so 
literally it can get slapped right on top of this and it matches up because I literally cut it straight out. I was like, you know what? That will literally come out fine and uh, what do you call it? It will not interfere with any of the air cleaner or nothing. It shouldn't because that's where you would end up having a cow right here. So I am, I have fabbed up the, well not fab, but I have cut up this hood. I need to do a little more cutting right there. Eh. Never mind. But it, the bumper's right over there. As the engine's in it, the, mo the transmission's getting rebuilt. It is a stage two high performance. I don't know. Can't remember. Um, my hood is so perfect. Uh, I'm going to probably hood pin this. It's the only other different thing. Uh, I have been doing so much research on this thing. I have so many parts sitting in here for it. I have a new door handle sitting over there in a box. Uh, I have a brake caliper on the way. I want to buy different wheels and tires. Uh, it this is a been a process. I have a new glass, I think, on the way, if I remember right. Uh, but no, this is the progress on it, uh, and I'll show you an update later on. But I haven't showed you all this, and I made a video, messed it up, like it. It wouldn't work. So, here's an updated video on it and me cutting on the hood. Because the video you would have seen would have been the front piece on, no motor, and no hood. So, it's kind of a better update than what I had. I mean, and I, I'm doing a lot to this thing. Like, small little things. Uh, but, like I said, new driver door handle. Uh, and I've been doing a lot, uh, like, if you guys don't know, I work two jobs. I work at a Ford dealer, and I work as security. Uh, so, that's why I have no time to do YouTube. The interior on this thing ain't too bad, and this has a little ripped, over there is fine. Get it all wired up. Uh, this thing might get nitrous in the future, if it does, it'd be pretty cool. But I don't know yet. Uh, so hopefully I can put a bigger motor in this because you know I don't like small. I like the small blocks are not bad. They are a decent motor if you stroke it right. You can get like around 400 stroke, like one of those small 400 strokes and it oh, low four strokes cubic inches, and there's some bad motherfuckers. But this is just a 350 board over 40 with a mild cam and everything. So it's nothing too major. It's probably pushing, I'd say, low 400s to the crank. Uh, it's just a little party, little party car. Uh, it will get a mini spool in it because I want posi and I want burnouts with two lines, not just one. One leg, you suck. Not really, just I prefer two lines. Um, but no, I figured I'd you got, update you guys on this. And I'm just going to continue on this video because, you know, I'm not done with this. And once I get done with this, then I'll update you some more. So guys, I've gotten it all together now. Yes, there's a lot of light. And I might, I'm going to end up cutting this. Um, it's getting bonded all over now. Um, yeah, it's basically fabrication done. Body work needs more work. Get all this all done. It, it's horrific. Um, but, yep, yeah, so the next thing you're going to see is when I get bonded on all this clean up all the holes because I tried going around the edge cleaning all that up best I could uh, so then it it's pretty solid so hopefully this holds up to what I needed to but yep next all I'm gonna do now is bondo all of it 
So, another update. Uh, I bondoed the fuck out of the hood. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be sanding this down. This is just what it looks like. I use this as the table, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to get it all sanded and see what it does. Uh, I went out and I got plastic put over the fenders and windshield. All that. So then I can cover it up when I actually finally decide to paint. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be cutting that down and then making it cover up everything else. But so far, this hood, I believe, is probably the best thing I've ever fabricated up. Uh, it is not the best, but you can see where Bonda went through. I was trying to fill all them holes in. Might have to go, I'll go back over it probably. If there's anything I don't like. But, so far, so good. And, I'm, this is not gonna be perfect hood. It's getting painted flat black. I, uh, this is an old school hot rod thing for Mopars. Uh, I'm just putting it on a Camaro. <laughs> uh, but now, this is just something, I was like, you know what? Something that I don't think I see too much around here. Oh, it's actually more common than I, I say. It started out with Mopars doing it because the gloss finish was shining in through the glass when they were uh, racing. But, anyways, i to give you an update on the non-sanded. And then I'll give you an update when I have it all sanded. And I'll show you when I have it started painted and everything else. And now the hood is all painted. I know, it was like still half. I don't really think I showed you all Bondo really. Uh, you can see spots. Uh, I don't care. Um, this is a hood I made. And it is piss poor. Uh, it used to be really bad where you can see like the gray compared to the... Um, we call it the, like it was brighter on the bondo spots compared to this because I honestly didn't even use uh how do you call it I didn't use primer should have didn't now she's done um, I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video it's like an update on the Camaro and or I can make it where it's the hood I don't know um but. I didn't even show you all cutting this. I said I cut this out. I literally went around that because that's like a template to me and cut it. Then I uh, cut into this right where I needed it to peel it up to do this. And then it became this. A, I don't like how the hood hinges are because this side drops and then this side. I don't know why it does that. It's retarded. Probably just need to adjust it. But this is done for me. Um, I'm going to remove all of this. And you're going to see it. And I'm going to stick this the front piece on. So you, you can get the full visual. So guys. I just slid that front cover on. That's what she looks like. I have wheels on the way. Uh, Riddlers. I can't remember what they're called. But. I got some adjustments to do because the hood does hit there. This ain't on at all. It's really just sitting there. This needs to come over a little bit. If you see it where it comes down, this hood was actually dented really bad in. Uh, there's actually, you can't see it terribly because I actually did body work to this thing before. I had actually really sanded it down real good. But, you know, me not caring and just want the car done. That's what happens. But, yeah. Um, yep, this is the Camaro. This is what it's going to look like. There's the fuse piece or whatever over here. It's going to be on the bottom because I think it looks jagged without it. So, you're going to get that back on there. I probably shouldn't have got rid of that and burnt it. The other side was broke. 
I might end up buying ground effects sometime. I don't know. But. Anyways, this is uh, the Camaro. And it's. That Bondo in there. It is. I don't know how. I just all covered up. But. There you guys go. This is the Camaro with its piss poor body work done. Again. I don't know why this thing don't really like latch latch. But yeah. Pull this out. Don't worry about the fire that happened. This thing actually caught fire a few times. And there she is. Uh, yeah, this is Camaro. <laughs> I have to get my set here. I don't know if I've ever said this. I need to go through all my videos. I need to go check and see if this by all I got left is the pulley system and cross member and exhaust, I think. And then wiring it all up. Sounds about right. And then getting all my linkages right. But yeah, this is the Camaro in its pre-modified form. I'm waiting on parts for my transmission because I had a couple parts. I got a couple different transmissions just to get to where I am now with it. Didn't happen. Um, so I have a mirror. I have a caliper, sway bar link. I'll do that in a video. And the box ripped. The door handle. Yeah, I think that's all I got because I have to replace that one. The mirror over here. Sway bar links are attached right now. Uh, I'll probably, I don't know if I want to do that when I put my wheels on or not because I got to bleed that side then. Uh, the brake caliper on that side is locked up last I knew. It moves now. I don't know. Anyways, so there's that. The hose I'm replacing too because I don't trust it. And yeah, because I have a starter for it. It's going to get all the pulley system. I might need to do power steering lines. Um, I'm trying to think. Oil pressure sensor. I need that. Temp sensor is actually already on it. Um. I'm going to end up replacing this water pump with one. Oh no, I'm keeping this water pump because I don't feel like replacing it with all that shit. Uh, chrome's cheaper. It's the only reason I'm getting chrome, so don't be on me for that. Uh, you can see where that chain's been rubbing the fuck out of that head. That's me pulling it up and down. It's rubbed the valve cover too. Um, but this is the Camaro, like I said, and everything barely fits. So if you come around here, my biggest worry was, you know, oh, the air cleaner won't fit because the distributor will touch. No, it literally barely fits. There's like, like where do these touch? There's like a thumb on this side and over there is like no thumb. So that was barely lucky on that. Uh, I did space the things out I need to change that I need to get oh because I lost mine I had a block for that the block over the fuel pump uh, cover I don't know where the fuck it went so there's that I'm trying but yeah all I got left is to get power steering set up on this I have to get so power steering alternator and then water pump pulley and that's it I have a feeling I want to do something with the fan and put it out here and reverse, make it reverse. Uh, what the fuck is it called? I'm blank on it. There's some proper terminology that I don't know offhand. It's a 
reverse continuity in it, I think is what it is. So then it actually pushes the air through. So it's uh, sucking it through, which it does now. Uh, because I have a feeling my pulley system is going to be 16 ribs. So I'm assuming it's going to push it all the way out to here. And it might fit. If it does, then no. I won't do it. But if it doesn't, then I have to put it out here. So alright guys, it's probably going to be all I'm going to show today because... I mean, I have nothing more to do on this, and I'm probably going to edit this video and hopefully have it out this week. It's Friday for me, so hopefully this weekend, because I need more videos on this channel, and I am doing this huge-ass project to this. As you know, I have a Duramax now. Uh, I got rid of, the, rid of that black truck I had, and uh, my old truck is my 72 Chevy is in my backyard doing nothing because I am blowing my money on this trying to get it done because I need this thing done I am tired of, I've been tired of seeing this motor sit I've owned the motor for two years so I figured out now it's been over a year it's been fully assembled so it kind of makes me upset because didn't I put my thermostat in hey look thermostat yeah, or thermostat put that in. Literally, two bolts, takes off, put new one in. It That's one of the easiest things to change, as long as you can get to it. Uh, Yeah, I think that's it. You know, caliper, hose, door handle. That's it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and follow, or subscribe, not follow. I'll put all my stuff down in the description. You know, Instagram, I have a TikTok. Uh, I don't really know what else. But anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.